Like most minorities, I got my ass beat growing up. If you get that beat, I kill you! But I lived in fear because I never knew when she was gonna hit me. Uh, uh, guess what, Mom? I made you your, your favorite tea. Oh, what a good son! Uh -huh. yeah. Hi, are you trying to kill me? I kill you! Sometimes, it seems like she's trying to use any excuse just to hurt me. Why you not doing your homework? I finished it at school, Mom. Huh? Why you talk back to me? I kill you! Ow! Mom! My fault that she doesn't know technology. How do I put the picture in the Facebook and not go in? It not go in. Oh, you have to upload it. You think I'm the stupid because I don't know the fancy upload? No. How about I upload my feet in your butthole? Kill you. Oh. Fuck you. Never should have hit you. And my mom be asking the dumbest questions. You promised to practice piano from now on? <laughs> Yes, mom. Why you cry? Cause you're hitting me. Okay then, I make you cry forever. Kill wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. Instead of hitting me, can you just ground me? Oh, so you want to be the white people, huh? You want to be the white people? You want to be the white people? Good thing my mom learned positive reinforcement because she doesn't beat me anymore. But it's still fun. Remember that your mother is always right because whatever I do is out of love. Since I born you for nine months, I can kill you anytime. Bye. Have a good day at school. So happy. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, go ahead and like and share it with all your friends. And if you like this t-shirt and any of the other shirts that are in this video, it is actually part of our official merch. Get it at justkiddingfilms.bigcartel.com. But obviously you can't get the UCLA shirt there because that's from UCLA. Now speaking of UCLA, I would like to bring something to attention. Janet Liang was a former UCLA student and she was diagnosed with leukemia in 2009. And it kind of went away, but in 2011, it came back. Now in order for her to live past April of 2012, she needs to find a bone marrow match. Now the thing with bone marrow match is that it's very, very specific. It needs to be in the same ethnicity. Asian Americans are only 7% of the national registry. And after that, only 50% actually completely follow through with that. So you could be the one that actually saves Janet Liang's life. So what I want all of you guys to do, go find your nearest bone marrow drive. I've done it before. It's so easy. It takes less than 10 minutes. Get this little cotton swab. They swab your cheek. They write down your information, put it in a database. And if your bone marrow matches that of Janet Liang or any other person that needs help, they'll contact you and then they'll give you more information so you can be a lifesaver and we got to help our own community out so definitely go up there let's up those numbers from seven percent other than that peace